Cylinder one looks pretty good. Cylinder two looks pretty good.
Cylinder 1 looks pretty good. Cylinder 2 looks pretty good. Cylinder 3 looks a little weird. And Cylinder 4... There's a problem. One of these things is not like the other. I've actually got an extra sleeve right here. This engine may be salvageable. He's beginning to believe. You got movement. No obvious knock on piston one. Bearing one. Rod bearing two feels okay. Rod bearing three feels okay. Rod bearing four feels okay. All the pistons look okay. Even four. Just the sleeve. What happens is that it obviously overheated because it got the crack in there, or broken, and the water got into the oil system, the lubrication, the, the pressurized system, right? But that looks, I mean, besides the sleeve, the head looks okay too. Usually you get cracks right here. And they look pretty good. I have to have it cleaned and everything, but so far. The head looks okay. The block looks okay. The pistons look okay. The cam cover looks good. That was so awesome. So far, from what I can tell, Barring going to the machine shop, etc, 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 making sure all the, everything looks good and straight, but from what I can tell so far, 
you've got an issue, obviously, with the piston number four sleeve is obviously toast. Piston number four, it actually does look pretty gnarled up. It might just be rust, though, and just gunk, just oil mixing with water or coolant and just diesel fuel. Just getting all gross. And then that's probably, yeah, I don't know. It made its way, you know, all over the place. So it needs to be thoroughly cleaned. But the head looks okay. There's no apparent obvious cracks. This is not cleaned. I just barely, I mean, you saw me remove it. So far right now, there's nothing too catastrophic. Not seeing any cracks. Usually cracks are formed right here. Right in this area right here. Between exhaust and intake. You'll see cracks or you'll see the, you know. Issues with the valves or out valves not seating too well. I mean, clearly there are some issues, but it doesn't seem like it's catastrophic so far. The main issue, obviously, is piston number four, piston sleeve number four, broke. And you can look right there, you can see that's a mix of diesel, coolant, oil, all getting in there. I mean, more diesel and fuel, or sorry, more diesel and uh, coolant. Um, and so, I would I, I was I would have expected more. Um, the piston might be okay, but luckily I think I've got a pile of goodies right there. I got one good piston right there. So um, actually a few. I think that some of those pistons are might not be good, but might be able to grab one out of there. And then we've also lost on, we've got three likely good um, injectors, and then this one right here, it, it just, there's no, there's no polite way to remove this guy. I'm sure if you were to get special tool number XYZ, for a gajillion dollars, um, you could probably remove it without harming it. Um, I didn't have it, and so screw it. I took it out. I took it out, caveman style. So, where are we at so far? Head probably is okay. Oh my gosh. MLS gasket. Jeez. So, I got stuck on there from the copper spray. No need to talk about the copper spray. I don't want to get into discussion on whether you believe it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's good insurance and it doesn't really hurt not too big of a deal and you know what it, it was stuck onto the the block nicely and I'd rather have a sticky get, uh, head gasket that might be a little bit of a pain to clean up than a, a small possibility of a leak you know there regardless of how well you machine these things and these things aren't I mean you can't really machine this as easily as other blocks and these heads you can't even, you're not even supposed to machine. So, you know, if you're rebuilding this or, or doing, you know, a head job, what are you left with, right? You can't really machine these heads. You can put the two layer um, MLS gasket on there, which makes it a little bit thicker. But, you know, what I'm left with is, you know, using a little bit of copper spray. Likely not going to hurt. And you know what? Having it peel out of here. To me, is like a, a slight testament of like, hey, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. 
Um, definitely some rust on the valves. But barring that, I am not seeing too much of a catastrophic... It's obviously a catastrophic failure, but it's people who, you know, know how to mess with these engines. This is a salvageable engine. So...